Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about our new topic that is called hooks. Okay. What are the hooks are there? See, uh, as I explained in the playwright, the similar format we have the hooks. JavaScript also. Uh, I'll explain one more time here as well. Okay. First, we need to know that why hooks. Okay. Why hooks is like if you go here and you can see uh, there are two scenarios that are given provided uh, URLs. If maybe you don't want to keep repeat this particular URL. Okay, we can keep for two ways for this. Okay, one is background and another one is hooks. Okay, background it will work on a specific uh, future file. Okay, the background will work on specific future file. If you are specifying this particular login location, it will work only for that particular login location. It will not work for scenario outline location. Again, you have to create for another background for that. Okay, then what we can able to do? We can able to do for by using hooks to open this URL for every time in you know, a globally. Okay. And also, we need to work with the some uh, some each scenario time. If you have two scenarios, two scenarios time, you need to open a DB connection or Excel sheet values or something. Okay, that moment we can able to use these hooks again. Okay, in case now you provided here. Okay, and here also in the scenario outline we are provided multiple things. Okay, one minute is about done. Sorry, that moment what we can do, right? Here we can able to use for some Excel sheet to save this all the values and we can rotate for this particular scenario type and we can able to get for uh, each step time or some value we need to get and we need to get it. That moment we can able to reduce that as well. Okay, some Excel or JSON or database or something we can able to rotate, okay? And this time hooks, what are the hooks are present? There are three different kind of hooks. One is before and before step and before all. Okay. These are the three things and we have for after, after and before step, sorry, after step. And we can go to after. Uh, okay, these are the three. And how it will work, and we can see now. For the simple example, I'll go for the hooks profile. It's called uh, hooks dot future. Uh, just for checking purpose, I'm going to show you here that how it works on the hooks wise. Okay, and I'm just I'm going to show you some running and showcasing that. Okay. This file, I'm going to mention this, right? And the hooks here, okay. And I'll provide this login only, okay? Same, same code, I'm going to use it, okay? Take the name and cucumber location scenario outline, I'll replace it, hooks, okay? Now in the step definition location, you can create here or you can create any page. There is no problem. That I will show you how we can create for another place. This is a shared, we can able to call it as a shared hooks. Okay. And here I'm going to use for before. Before step. Before all. Okay. Three things. And we need to import for after. After all. And then we can able to up the step. Okay. These are the things I invoked. Now we can create for the hook itself. Okay. How we can able to use it before. This is my hook. And I'm going to use for async because it's a async functions, right? And here I'm going to use for console dot 
log and this is called before hook to identification purpose i'm going to use it okay and i'll copy here and i'll use for step all. okay and this is my all hook and this is my step hook okay and even we can able to use for similar format this is after and i copy this one just i'm showing for now as a small uh, case like uh, console i'm displaying okay how it will go and there is one more thing before after each and all it is there that also it will work step and uh, step and uh, uh, those things it will work the similar format okay now i will run this book See if you come back here, see here. If we do it, and I'm copying this entire thing into my notepad to see the properly. Okay. Now here, see before all, it works for all the time. And there is after, oh sorry. I said I need to I forgot to add it here to showcase properly. Okay. We'll run it one more time. Now again I'm running this one. Okay, I'll explain you one by one, okay, how it works and all. So, yeah, again, I'm copying. This is like a before all and before before step. Okay. Then again, you can see after step. In between before step and after step having some gap. Okay. Before before week, it is gone. Right. And again, before it is started. Okay. And again, uh, after step, before step, after step, after hook. What will happen this one? Okay. And in between, I'll uh, save here scenario execution. Okay, that particular scenario execution. And also in this location, I gave one more. And in this location, I gave one. Okay. And this is like a, a suit level. Okay. Suit level, it will execute. And this is like a scenario level. Uh, it will execute uh, in a scenario level. Okay, and this will uh, execute as a step level. Step level. Okay, means before all it will execute for entire suit level in a one time. Before hook it will execute inside the scenario. It's a scenario time, and before step it will execute on a particular step location. Okay, this is all about for hooks. The simple way of execution. Whenever the scenario is good, before step it will execute and after execution it will execute. Okay. Then after that, again, before step and scenario, like uh, step, you can able to call it as a step. This one inside this is the scenario and this is my step. That step it will come here. Scenario location. Okay. Step. So step, step, and again step. Okay, if you have another scenario to run one more time, that again it will ready. Okay, like this we can able to do keep on. 
okay this will help you to run for one time in a suit level okay i hope it this entire information is for you thank you for watching and please do subscribe